So this won't be the most exciting video, but honestly, it's part of the hunting season, so I'm posting it to kind of keep track of the progress of my hunting season from scouting to actually hunting. And uh, I am down in Ohio today and wasn't really planning on it. It was absolute spur of the moment, but kind of the backstory is I have a good friend who gave me an Obsessions compound bow. It's a super nice bow, but uh, it just wasn't shooting right. So, well, it was shooting fine, but the string was the string was starting to wear through the the um, serving. So, I looked all over the place, made a bunch of calls, couldn't get a hold of Obsessions, and it just was kind of a pain in the butt. So I called a guy in Ohio that was an Obsessions dealer. He answered and was super nice. I think it was the company's called Fredericksburg Outdoors, I think. Um, anyway, talked to him, told him what's happening. He told me he'll get with somebody that was last weekend. And, um, or no, probably last Thursday, maybe. Maybe even Friday, I think it was Friday. Called him, told him, told him what was going on. He said he'll get a hold of somebody called me back said he left a message for the guy and he couldn't you know he left a message to give him a call back so the guy did on Monday this morning and um, basically said this is what's going on but ended up giving me the phone number to the guy to this uh, salesperson or the rep for um, obsessions so <laughs> I call him he explains to me what's going on and basically what needs to happen so a place down at the border of Michigan basically I uh, I called, finally got through to him, he's like, yeah, you know, bring it on by, so I'm like, well, I'm all the way down near the border, and um, I'm like, I might as well, I, this camera has not been getting a whole lot of pictures, to be honest with you, just kind of went dead, so I'm like, uh, something must not be right, well, there is an excavator out in the field, and it was there when I set it up, and there was a bunch of deer out there too, so I thought, well, it'll be fine, but Clearly it's not, and the guy's been using it, and um, the camera's just, the camera just kind of went dead. So I actually came down here, made the drive, and uh, took the camera out down, took it to another spot, um, right on the edge of a soybean field, and basically set it up there in the hopes that um, I'll get some deer walking along the hedgerow and whatever. But um, the soybeans are private, and the camera's you know on a tree just right basically right near the edge of public and private so we'll see what happens the biggest buck i ever got on camera i got uh at this from this tree so anyway we're back to old faithful tree and we'll see what happens hopefully no ticks on me i sprayed but i had one on me earlier anyway like i said not the most exciting adventure to watch but it is part of the journey and um I'm just trying to, was it chronological? I don't know what you call it, but um, trying to basically just tell the story of my 2024 deer season, and this is part of it. So that's set up. I've got to go back to the truck, and I'll probably drive around once, see what's out there, and then at home. But anyway, if you're still here watching this, I sincerely appreciate you following along. For those who are subbed, I really appreciate the support, and um, I'm hoping all this work right now will lead to a to a um, big buck in Ohio this year. I know a lot of people don't like cameras. Honestly, cameras kind of seem to be the new uh, go after for hunters. Crossbows have, at least from what I've seen, the the fury over crossbows has kind of dwindled. Now it's trail cameras, and I know a lot of people have said that uh, you know they don't think using trail cameras is hunting. Well, it is summer, so I'm not hunting. And second of all, for me, it's more inventory. And honestly, I just like getting videos of of deer, especially obviously big bucks. I just like getting videos of them. It's nature, it's nature in their element. I think it's cool and I like doing it. So to me, that's one of the biggest reasons. The sec, the sec, Probably the primary though is see what there are for bucks. Last year I hunted here and should have had a buck, a buck that I got on camera many times, but I set up completely, um, in a different spot had nothing to do with where my camera was set up i made a plan and i set up on them and almost got one so i wasn't like sitting over a camera you know spot because i'd seen deer there 
And quite frankly, I'd, I've never gotten a deer from a camera. I've come close. Once or twice I've had a deer come through a spot that I saw that he was in based on a camera, but I've never actually gotten a deer because of my camera setup. And so to me, it's a tool, but it's something that I really enjoy just setting up because I love deer, they're my favorite animal and they're fun to watch. So anyway, that's what I did today. Now it's time to get back and get back home, see the kids or what kids that are left in the house. A couple of them are gone. One's on a missions trip and one's at a basketball camp. So I'm down to two, but I love those two as well. And we'll have a good time for the couple days we're by ourselves. Anyway, thanks for coming along and we'll uh, see you on the next video, Lord willing.